talk. This family has a problem. Oh, finally, we can get this all out in the open. I'll start. Klaus, you're useless and everyone hates you. <gasps> no, Roger, this is about you. The last two months, your selfish behavior has gotten out of control. Stan, tell him. Well, for starters, you constantly raid the fridge and drink all my five alive. You take our clothes without asking and then disappear all day so you can run around as one of your ridiculous personas. I regret my dance card is filled for the evening, but there's always the spring cotillion. I'll tell you what I think. I think you hide behind all these disguises so you don't have to face the fact that the real you is an inconsiderate jerk. Yeah, it doesn't matter how you treat people when you could blame it on Professor Edelstein or AT&T operator Sholanda Dykes. Speaking of which, that credit for my friends and family plan still hasn't shown up on my bill. That credit was generated after your last statement. It'll show up on your next bill. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for choosing AT&T. Enough! You have been treating us like doormats for months, and we're sick and tired of it. Wow, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. And I guess all I can say is, Eat my guts! He's getting away! Stop him! For God's sake, Roger, get up! <laughs> my tequila! That worm had a name! Now, if you will excuse me, I am late for my daughter's arranged wedding. She will learn to love him. Well, that was a waste of time. Hey, what's this? Oh, an 